Good day, grade 7 learners! This is Teacher Jen, and welcome to English Motions. Get ready to learn English right in the comforts of your home. Today, we will learn about Quarter 2, Module 4 for Lesson 3, and how to extract information from a text using a paraphrase. So get your pen, paper, and your self-learning module. In the previous lesson, you learned two ways of extracting information from a text by summarizing and proceed writing. Today, we are going to learn another way of extracting information. Learners, what do you observe in these two sentences? Have you spotted the difference? The structure of the sentence and use of the different words. How about the similarity? What makes it similar? The thought of the two sentences is the same. The first text is the original text and the second text is called paraphrasing. Let's define first about paraphrasing. It is rewriting of a specific passage from someone else. It is written in your own words without changing the original meaning or removing any information. After reading a text, you have to remember the information that you have read. Then, try to put it into your own words. That's the process of paraphrasing. By paraphrasing, you're proving that you understand the content taken from the source. It also gives you more freedom on how you want to convey the same ideas, but in a way that suits your writing. Let's read the two sentences. Number one, uploading a YouTube video can provide your business with even more exposure in the online world. Number two, this product can break down excess body fat, thus helping shed some pounds. How can we paraphrase the sentences? Let's try. Number one, your business will be better exposed to the online world if you post a video on YouTube. Number two, this product can help you lose weight by getting rid of unnecessary fat in your body. Did you notice that we changed some words like uploading to post? What other words did we change? More to better, shed to lose, pounds to weight, exist to unnecessary. These words are called synonyms. Do you have any questions? Since you don't have questions, let's look at what we did. We read the text first, then said it in the another way. See? how it helped you to understand what the text said. When you're paraphrasing a statement, be careful not to introduce new ideas or information and not to make judgments or to spin words. Instead, simply restate the statement as you understand it. In paraphrasing, there are steps to follow. Number one, read the passage several times to fully understand the message. Number two, note down key concepts. Number three, write your own version of the text without looking at the original. Number four, compare your paraphrase text with the original passage and make minor adjustments to phrases that remain too similar. Number five, cite the source when you found the idea. So far, you have learned on how to paraphrase, which you can use to help you understand the text better. When you paraphrase, you use your own words to express something that was written or said by another person. Putting it into your own words can clarify the message, make it more relevant to your audience, or give it greater impact. To solidify your understanding about extracting information using paraphrasing, 
let's have an activity to further enrich your learning. Arrange the scrambled words into a sentence to form a paraphrase based on the statement inside the box. Well done! You are now ready to make your own paraphrase. With that, do your final task. Paraphrase the following sentences. Read the attached paraphrase writing rubric as tool for checking your output. Kindly write your answer on a separate piece of paper. So learners, today we learned about extracting information using a paraphrase. And that concludes our lesson for today. I really enjoyed learning with you, and I hope you did too.